Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. My name is Ed and in this video I want to talk to you about deleting the default mail mailbox database that Exchange 2019 creates when you install it. So what am I talking about? So if you launch the Exchange Management Shell Elevated and you type in get-mailbox database you will see that you will have a name mailbox database with a random set of numbers. Now many people will use this to store mailbox on, there's nothing wrong with that, but if you're going to go into like uh, where you have storage mount points and you want to structure it so you want to keep the name you know let's say uh, DAG1 slash store A or store 1 for example then obviously you wouldn't need this database. Now you can delete it. Obviously the first thing you need to do is to check if there's any mailboxes on it. So we could go and for example we could highlight this and we can go get mailbox minus database. Put this in, there's nothing there. If I had to use arbitration to see there's nothing there. If I wanted to see um, archive, there's nothing on here. So there is one more system mailbox on here, um, but it's on my other server, so we should be fine in removing it. So to delete this mailbox, you can go remove mailbox database. You can specify the identity. I like to use the confirm switch um, and you can press enter. Now you can see that it's obviously giving me access to another area. Now funny enough it tells you that it's been removed and it gives you this area. Now this is in a lab and I've seen this uh, on customer exchange servers that it gives you insufficient access rights even though this account has a full-blown domain enterprise schema admin full-blown org admin it's got rights everywhere it has removed it if I go and I go and check the first command you can see that it's gone so this error is a little bit misleading because if you had insufficient access rights it technically shouldn't have removed it and I'm wondering if it's not a, I wouldn't say a bug, but maybe there's something else that the account needs to be able to remove this cleanly without getting any errors. Nonetheless, you can see that it has removed and that's pretty much how easy it is to remove the default database. Thank you very much for watching.